Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Peachy and this is Plant and Style. In today's video, I thought I'd give you guys an update on how my anthuriums are doing since I recently showed you their emergent leaves. I thought it would be fun to see how they have hardened so far. So yeah, if you haven't noticed, I do have the anthurium bug in me. I hope you don't catch it because it gets pretty expensive. I just want to get it out of my system. So. <laughs> Bear with me as I show you how my anthuriums are doing. Okay, so it's going to be in a chaotic order, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I have no plan whatsoever. So I'm just going to show you whatever I can grab first. And the first one being is this Fairchild Crystallinum Crosswood anthurium warroquianum and this is the hardened leaf look at how big that is the leaf that it came with is this one and it's about the size of my my palm and this one is double twice as big look at that look at that wow it's still not fully hardened either and I don't know why the, the leaves are copped like that. <laughs> I've seen the Fairchild crystal and it has that characteristic so it obviously got it from that I guess. This leaf right here that we saw emerging is also a lot more elongated and that is definitely from the Warroquianum trait so I think it is super cool look at how silvery that is holy cow can you imagine a Warroquianum with that much silver on it wow that is just amazing this is another evidence that they do not look the same look at that that is insane how silvery that one looks right so doing great it's still in soil a very um, chunky mixture right here and i have been watering it quite often like every three days because the leaf was hardening at the time so i didn't want it to not have an energy to expand the leaf even bigger so yeah hopefully that helped and i am definitely going to transition this to pond i cannot keep up with chunky soil mix so i'm gonna have to move it to pond as as soon as i can before i kill it right the next one is okay since we are here we're just gonna go right ahead and move on to the next plant and this is the hardened actually it's not hardened completely either but this is the anthurium conialens cross with papillilaminum holy mackerel look at how dark this is it still has brownish hue to it it's not fully dark just yet and this plant is getting a lot of lighting from my sultic light because it is also acclimating at the same time and i'm not exactly sure how the previous owner was caring for this i just wanted it to have enough energy because it as you can see it is now receptive it, i can see a bit of sap going on right there on the inflorescence so i did not plan on pollinating this one just because i'm pretty sure it's gonna take a deep dive <laughs> I think that it's going to tank on me and I don't want to lose it. So I feel like it needs more foliage to be able to 
actually be pollinated and have berries and stuff. So what I'm going to do though is I'm going to hopefully collect its pollen if it's going to give me some. I did transfer it into this vessel. This is a no drainage vessel and that's because the other one was too small I thought and I figured it's time to give it a taller pot so it's not too leggy although as you can see it's still pretty darn leggy <laughs> but my plan at this point is to just probably either put some moss over here on the base of the plant and just so hopefully activate some of the aerial roots up here Ooh, it's like mystique very nice the previous plant and this one is currently living right here in ambient condition but when i say ambient i also mean it's 69.9 fahrenheit currently with 64 relative humidity so that's where we at right now but it's extra nice today so and then we have holy mackerel please don't mess with it oh my lord i am so so excited with this one <laughs> look at this is the carla black yay and oh my god the hardened leaf is amaze balls <laughs> did i just say balls <laughs> it is amazing oh my god <sighs> If the Anthorium Roqueanum, the Fairchild Crystal Roqueanum hybrid is cupped this that way, the, this is the opposite cup. It goes inside. Oh my god. But at the same time, it's long. And look at that spider veining. Holy crap. <laughs> The previous leaves that it came with, I don't know what's happening over here, but it was already crispy when I got it. That's why it was a rehab plant, and that's why I got it for cheap as well. And yeah, I am so, so happy with this plant. And here we have something happening. Uh, hopefully, that's a leaf because I'm not ready. This I don't think this plant is ready to be pollinated or to have flowers yet. I would love for this plant to have more leaves like so though. But oh my god, that veination is just intense. And I don't know much about Carla Blackier. And some of them has more diffuse venation. But this is incredibly freaking intense. Wow. It's so bright. <laughs> and I also don't know exactly what kind of Carla Blackier this is. I know that there are like a dozen or more. I <laughs> can't, can't remember. But when the seller said that it was carla blackier and it was on my wish list already to begin with and it was super cheap i paid hundred dollars for this with two sad leaves actually more than two probably three or four but mostly leaves looking like this but it already had an emergent leaf that's why it was worth it for me to pay as much as I did and now it is looking really expensive <laughs> holy cow I'm very excited okay I, I need to put this down otherwise I can keep talking about it for the whole video but we don't want to do that do we so the next one is this big boy oh no oh no please don't don't knock anybody over okay but this one is okay you can't see me this one is my anthorium tezula ace of spade dark form cross with reese gardens papillilaminum papillilaminum and 
all of these leaves are grown under my care and the previous leaves as you can see right here has pretty much no veining happening in there and a lot more like bumpy and yeah it's a little bit it's got some nice texture and very dark dark foliage the next one right here is looking similar to the last one although it's a little bit chlorotic now because of too much exposure to Soltic grow lights <laughs> but the leaf that we saw emerge is this one and look at that oh my goodness it's looking like an ace of spade like a really really dark ace of spade but and at the same time it's got that veination it's got some veining that six veins right there not too harsh of a vein but oh my god okay never mind i think this is going to be the thumb screen right here did i say thumb screen <laughs> thumbnail <laughs> oh my lord holy mackerel look at that this is with no filter this is just sunlight i'm not using any ring light at the moment because i'm trying to take advantage and trying to see how this light is going to help me out in this video and i'm also uh using a different camera and trying it out again since i still can't figure out the setting that i'm supposed to do i have the zv1 mark ii now and i didn't like the first time i used it so i kept just using my phone anyway i'm blabbing back to this beautiful plant anthurium what was it again? <laughs> Ace of Spade cross with Papillilaminum. So gorge. Holy cow, that is just gorgeous. Right? And don't forget, because it has an inflorescence right there. It's not ready. It's not ready to be pollinated or anything just yet. But it's the first inflorescence as well, so... Again, I'm not going to try to pollinate this one because it, I think it's too early. I think you're supposed to wait a, after a couple of inflorescences before um, you try to pollinate them because it's just going to tank and it cannot handle it. It needs to be mature enough. Oh yeah, I forgot to show that it just reached, I think caterphyll stage as well there's something going on with that caterphyll and at the same time there's something going on on the patio as well so i have a feeling that it's about to give me another inflorescence and if that's the case i can do a i can self this plant maybe <laughs> The next one is my Dark Phoenix, Anthurium Dark Phoenix cross with Indo Portale that I got from North Shore Tropicals, whom they sourced out from Space Hijau off of Instagram. And you've seen the emergent leaf right here and look at how it looks. It's way bigger i love the jump on the size on this one this is the leaf before that and now you can see how gorgeous this is this is side by side and look at the size difference so far and this is not fully hardened yet either and as you can see that from the back as right there it's still a bit reddish brown let me see if i can show you but holy cow it's not even fully hardened yet and it already has a new leaf coming on the petiole can you see that holy cow right there so it's already working on a new leaf and i got this plant in um, tree fern fiber and i waited i think a week before i moved it into pond and look at how she loves pond 
Holy mackerel, we have some juicy, fuzzy roots right there. Look at that. And quite thirsty as well. So I try to keep the reservoir filled with um, nutrient solution. And my goodness, it loves it. And I also, obviously, as you can see, I, when I repotted it, I repotted it into a bigger vessel. And it obviously is having a great time with it, giving us all the new growth that is bigger. Yeah, so I'm very, very happy with how this is going right now. So once again, Anthurium Dark Phoenix Cross with indo port and it lives in this cabinet right there because it's a showstopper definitely so i tried to um showcase it <laughs> so the next one is the ace of spade and this one is still in water because i was a little bit frightened for this one because this one came from soil so i want to make sure i don't kill this one because this is the Tesula Ace of Spade Dark Form and I've already killed two Ace of Spades so far, two specimens and this one is the rather more expensive one and it only came with a leaf because it's a cutting, it's a clone. I'm trying to be safe by water rooting it and as you can see we have some progress with the water roots. So I think I'm gonna wait a few more until it reach maybe a couple inches and then I'm gonna move it into pond. Just to make sure that this one does not die on me because that would be very sad. Oh my goodness, please don't die on me. But so far so good. Anthurium, Tezula, Ace of Spade, Dark Farm. So this one is not on my emergence video, but I thought I'd show you updates on my species Napo. This is Anthurium species Napo that I'm not exactly sure of the ID, but I got this from Tropicals and due to the shape of the Anthurium right there, this is not velvety either. It's rather glossy and I put it straight into pond from I moss. It came in moss. So I got this at the Pacific Expo, um, recent Pacific Expo that I went to. And oh my goodness, look at the aerial roots are popping on top. And that is because I added this moss on top. But the roots moss roots that it came with is already growing some new fuzzy roots it's hard to see because it's shiny but it's right there and i'm so happy with that and this is just how i have acclimated it this is what we call the submerged method and it's basically just the bottom of the pot is submerged into the reservoir the next Anthurium update I have for you is from my Anthurium Warquianum. You've seen the emergent. And now look at how it has hardened. It is slightly bigger than the one before, but not so much, to be honest. It's not fully dark yet. This is supposed to be really dark, and the lighting is not doing it justice for me, but there you go. So it's getting there, but I can feel that it's still a little floppy. So it might still be expanding. And I love the lobes on this one. I have another Warroquianum with a more closed lobes. This one is really cool, I thought. That's why I had to have it because it's totally different it's got different ears from the one i have from my other warroquiano <laughs> so definitely a cool looking warroquiano if only i can keep more than two leaves at a time so 
Hopefully, this particular specimen will do better than my, my other one. They are both in ambient com condition, so yeah, I guess I'm just happy that they're still here and kicking. There you go. Anthurium Requianum or the Queen Anthurium. The next one is from my Anthurium Papulox, Anthurium Papulolaminum Luxurian. And this is the hardened leaf right here. I accidentally ripped this part, unfortunately, but that's okay. I think she's forgiven me. This leaf is yellowing as well, so it's on its way out. It's the oldest leaf it has. And there is a caterpillar growth right here, movement. So I'm guessing that it is reaching the caterpillar stage. Oh my god, the lighting is terrible. But this palette is gorge. Definitely gorge. Look at that. And minus the little rip from on, on the side. But you can see how luxurious it looks so next is for the pair of dock block papula laminum hybrids seedlings and this is the fully hardened leaf and i'm going to show you the other leaf because now you can see the difference on this siblings right there as you can see this one right here is a lot darker and velvetier, I think. So this one has more venation to it coming from Doc Block. And this one is working on another emergent leaf right there. So very cool, very fast grower. And I love this particular one. So I'm probably going to be getting rid of this also. And I am currently working on segregating some plants that I need to purge in a local purge. So <laughs> once again, the Anthurium Dock Blocks cross with Papillolaminum. Next one is the gorgeous, cute looking King of Spades. Look at how adorable this freaking leaf is it's so so adorable it is just the cutest little thing i think but yes so that is the hardened leaf it's a bit darker and it's got a red dot right there at the intersection what do you call this <laughs> it's the intersection <laughs> but Anthurium King of Spades, looking adorable. Next in line is my Anthurium Luxurian, who is not done yet, not even close to being done, I think, because the leaf before that is already huge like this, but it might actually have decreased in size due to an inflorescence. And this inflorescence also, I want to show you what it looks like when it's starting to give out some pollen. As you can see, this is already producing pollen and I will be collecting the pollen from this as soon as it's ready and because I have a few plants or um, I'm going to save it for future use, I guess. Maybe I'll pollinate my Metallicum with it because my Metallicum has an inflorescence currently. And yeah, that would be cool to see. An elongated Luxurian, right? I moved it into this vessel just so I can see. I can pay attention because plants with inflorescence are rather thirsty. If you have reached this far of the video, thank you so much. Please do leave a flower for spring, any kind of flower emoji on the comments below. 
to let me know that you have watched up to this point and as a bonus i have two more anthurium seedlings that i have added recently i think two two weeks already and that is this is Ralph Lynam Fort Sherman Papillolaminum F2 and with the wider sinus that I have been wanting for so long. I have been waiting for the price to go down on this one and it's very rare that this one comes up locally. So when it was offered during a purge, I had to snag it such a beautiful specimen and it's in moss perlite situation right now but very very beautiful indeed i finally found you oh my goodness and since finding this one this another wide sinus pop up in one of the cheaper anthurium purge as well somebody was trying to get rid of their entire plant collection i think which is sad to hear but i am happy to adopt this beautiful baby this is a hybrid of re gardens um, papillolaminum cross with nse portale what a gorgeous gorgeous plant look at that oh my goodness the back is also beautiful it's still reddish brown right there and definitely is very dark and very velvety what <laughs> i cannot believe i have found this particular plant oh my goodness they usually are very hard to come by and very expensive to come by this one i got for 80 bucks only what a steal i think this one's a little more expensive i think this one's twice uh, as expensive but my goodness i love me some wide sinus specimen that is going to be great for hybridization soon so not soon because they're still very young obviously but they grow quite fast i already have a bunch of my anthuriums that started from seedling into a caterpillar stage some have inflorescence already so they are maturing quite fast fast enough because I have been providing a lot more um, lighting. Soltic lights also helps. And oh my goodness, my anthuriums are loving these lights also. Not sponsored, but definitely highly, highly recommend. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It does help a lot with the algorithm and... Don't forget to subscribe as well to my channel. Hit that notification bell down below so you'll be notified when my future video drops. Again, thank you all so much. I appreciate every single one of you and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!